If you really want to learn a melody, if you really want to understand a melody, if you really, really, really want that melody to be part of your vocabulary and come out whenever you're creating or jamming or improvising or writing or whatever, this is what you need to do. So here's my melody. Right? But with that melody, I'm really only limited to playing that in C major. Right? I mean, it'll work over some other chords. But I, I'm, I'm, I can only play it in these notes. Now, if I took it in just one other key, let's say I did it in D. Well, now I can play it over a lot more chords. probably even play it here uh, over um, over uh, over here I know I added one note there probably play look at all the other possibilities I have just because I played it in one other key I just opened up four more possibilities and there's way more than that so even if I did it in uh, even if I did it over here I could probably, this will probably be major Right? Take it in all keys. Take it around every single key, no matter how simple your melody is. So let's say it's just... Right? Super, super simple melody. Let's do that in another key. Let's take that in another key. Here you're really going to understand how the notes relate to each other. And not only are you going to understand how they relate to each other, you're going to understand how they sound wherever you are. So it doesn't matter what song you're playing or what key that song is in. You're going to be able to play that melody and it's going to be at your disposable, at your beck and call whenever you want to pull it out without having to think because you've already done the thinking at a previous date. Hope that helps. Peace, y'all.